with Rena following me, I left the house. In front of the house, there was a car waiting. It was Oishi-san. <laughs> what a truly praiseworthy man he was. If he had been lying in wait so early in the morning just to pressure me into talking. On well, this morning though, maybe this was actually a good opportunity. I mean, we can use his car. Maybe. <laughs> リグさんにはなのってませんでしたっけ。これはこれは失礼しました。私、沖の宮所の大石と申します。どうぞよろしく。大石さんに喋るのか。うん。ケイチ君の罪は私の平手だけで贖えるけど。みーちゃんの罪
Her son lit a cigarette and responded to Rena, wearing an expression implying he was calm and willing to let her comment slide. <laughs> I did say in the first chapter that there was something between um, Oishi and Mion and Asanazaki's. I mean, it was pretty made. It was made pretty clear by how Mion feels about Oishi and all that, and what Oishi is after with the whole secret organization and the whole spiel that I made during the investigation video. So, yeah. Yeah. I only understood how about half of what Ren was saying. I knew, however, that Rui san had been trying to use me. One of a kind. I mean, I've seen her reasoning on the whole soy sauce thing. It is pretty good. That is, I mean, this is surely a side of Rena that I don't, I haven't really seen up until now. Now, I think that I'm gonna take her under my wing. She's gonna be my uh, detective partner. Like, uh, like uh, both of us are gonna be a duo for private investigating. My lovely, adorable little, little Rena. So cute. <laughs> no, she's mine. I'm gonna take her home with me. Her mouth spoke quietly, her words dripping with hostility. でも、結果として今日までミーちゃんを逮捕しなかったことには感謝しておきますね。そりゃどうも。I seem to be enjoying his exchange with Rena. The things this man fought were like a swamp. I could barely see past the surface. He reminded me again of how much I disliked him. さて、その、その崎ミオンさんの親友であらせられるお二人は これ、私が証拠固めを終えて、令状が請求できるまでのんびり待っててくれるわけですかな。うん。そんなの待ちません。私たちが言って、ミーちゃんを自首させます。That's mm, right. If she turned herself in rather than be arrested, she might get a lighter sentence. At this point, perhaps that was the only pity I could find in me to afford her. Sate, sate, そんなにうまくいくでしょうかね。下手すりゃあなたたちも無事ではすまないかもしれませんよ。We are willing to take the risk. My son was measuring our resolve. So, in a strong voice, I declared. そんなのは覚悟の上です。My son gave us an unpleasant yet a seemingly satisfied grin. It was then that I realized that this man was trying to use us for his own convenience. もし私たちに何かあったなら、それを口実に踏み込んでください。犯人を取り逃がさないように、ぐるりと取り囲んでくださるのが一番の希望なんですが。ははははは。ニュウグーさんは交渉も上手です。参りましたよ。交差です。ど
増援をかけられるよう準備だけよろしく願います。They're altogether too short conversation. Implied that our questioning was already a part of their plans. では、参りましょうか。お茶菓子でも買っていきます Neither Rena nor I went along with what you saw, stupid joke. Alright, let's go. Oishi, stop the car at the place where we always waited for Mion. Come to think of it, I've never been to Mion's house before. I've only heard that it's right down this road. おくりできるのはここまでです。情報ではその先本家は自宅周辺に監視カメラをかなり配置しているらしいんですよ。でもご安心を。何度か資格をついて突入できる位置に若いのが何人か待機してます。試行性マイクで中を伺ってますから、お
And certainly not a forest that made you want to go for a nice walk. Maybe that's just what happens when a land mower has too much land. Like Oish Sunset, there were security cameras hung up all over the place. Though they had been weathered by wind and rain, casting doubt as to whether they were even functional. What a useless security system. So it's just me on and a grandma. みーちゃんのお父さんがいろいろ大変な人みたいでね。だから一族がみんなで集まるときにはちゃんと機能しているらしいよ。That's right. Mia's father. He was a big shot yakuza, wasn't he? When I smoothly danced around the answer, she explained. At last, a huge gate, as big as I'd imagined, appeared. Was she living by herself with her grandmother in a house with such a grand gateway? Hmm, truly grand. Truly befitting for someone like me. Irukana. Beep. The old brother made a dull sound. Was it cut off in the middle and not getting to the house? We waited long enough without a response for me to start thinking like that. However, we finally heard footsteps walking through gravel on the other side of the gate. I nervously bowed my hands, my palms now sweating into fists. There was the clang of a bolt being released, and the gate opened slightly. The person peeking out of the gap was none other than Mion. Mian didn't seem all that surprised that Vitor's visitors arriving in the morning, which wasn't a normal time. In fact, she almost seemed relaxed, as if she knew we were coming beforehand. Mion smiled lightly, in the way that the Mion we knew always did. Alright. She gestured for us to follow her. I hesitated for a moment, looking at Rena. Rena smiled cheerfully, as if she were passing through the gate of a good friend's house, and then did just that. I ready myself and then go through the gate too. Yeah, this place is big. On the other side. Yeah, I've been maintained very well, but it was clear that the lot was magnificently wide. It wasn't quite what you think of when you hear mention. But it's very clearly a vast place. Ah, でけえ家じゃねえか。今時合掌造りなんて流行らないよ。観光資源にはなるかもしれないけどね。私は早くごくごく平均的な鉄筋コンクリートに建て替えてほしいと思ってるよ。I mean there is a warming feel to it as well. Mion really smiled as she said that, then closed the gate and relocked the heavy bolt. 気にしないで。最近は物騒だからね。Maybe it was my imagination, but I thought I saw the hint of a shadow in your smile. Mion bowed to us like a worker at a high class hotel, then pivoted on her heel and began to walk. When I gripped my stiffening arm lightly, yeah. Tell us something that we don't know. That's right. 
When I get nervous, I tend to let everything show on my face. I'll stop tensing up. Even if something were to happen, there were two of us. We shan't subordinates were waiting outside the gate for us, too. There was nothing to worry about. After thinking about it that much, I realized my nervousness was already gone. Then I laughed at myself. Hmm. <sighs> First time inside the Mion's house. Hmm. Mion, what's that? There was a pile of newspapers on the floor at the entrance. And there was a large rock on top of them. I didn't understand why something like that was here. Hmm. I don't know. To not uh, let the wind make the newspapers fly away. Right now, notice me looking at it questioningly and giggled. Lena, was it there? No, ka. Korea, nanda. Nani ka no omajirai ka? Kei chan ga yoku wakaranai nara, sore o dokashite soko ni kutsu o nui demo iin da kedo. Kei chuku, sono ishi no ma ue ni ne, tsubame no su ga aru mo. Nani? Eh? Eh? Ah, honto da. Hito sama no iye na no ni, tsubame ga kattu ni haitte kite su o tsukut te rutte wa ke. Dai dai katari tsui de ru no ka, kisetsu ni naru to kimatte koko ni su o tsukurun da yo. Mei waku shite ru nda kedo ne. Tsumari ne, soko wa tsubame no fun to ka ga ochi te kite abu nai kara, kutsu o nu ga nai yo ni te yu nejiru shi na no. Yo. I couldn't help but laugh at the silly contrivance. My laughter naturally spread to your two. Sono zaki ke mo o mukashi, you san toka yatte ta koto ga aru rashiku te ne. Go senzo sama wa tsubame taiji ni yakki ni natta sou da kedo ne. Sore o mou to, kore wa chotto bachi atari na no ka na. Ma, agatte agatte. The inside of the house was very bright at all. He was dimly lit, in fact. But mysteriously, I could still feel an elegance to the place. Wow. Mion seemed to want a more modern building. But traditional houses like this aren't bad either. Jodan,でしょ? <laughs> Yeah. I guess uh, the opposite can said about us. Yeah, that's true. Man, imagine a Christmas episode for. Higurashi. I mean, I've been begging for it in Imineko for God knows how long. I doubt, like, yeah, I'm thinking that with Higurashi it's gonna be even more difficult to ask for such a thing. Hahaha,Keichi-kun知らないの? <laughs> So normally that means that school gets cancelled usually during those times, right? I wasn't aware of that. Hinamizawa was that bad of a place in the winter. Come to think of it, my dad, he said something like this place got plenty of snow, so you could have fun building igloos. Still, front door getting buried? Not near you to find your car? That's way too much snow. Chili no jigyo de naratta desho? Nihon kai gawa wa taeriku kara no kampu ga sono mama nagarete kuru kara ne. Sanmyaku de saegi rarete nuku nuku shite ru yona nanjaku na taehi yo gawa to wa waki ga chigaun da kara. Ore, nanjaku demo nuku nuku demo nan demo ii. Samui no wa iya da! This is the time for the winter of the winter. 
やだやだ全力でやだ寒いのは嫌いだ強化合宿も嫌いだ両方合わさったらもっと嫌いだ Neil laughed more uproariously than she ever had, then told us she'd bring some tea and left her seat for a moment. Alright. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, that's surely something that I don't get. Mount the Red Horn? I see the Terror of our club cared not for the, for the season. The victor would be decided by who could best adapt to the winter only events. Hmm. And these uh, winter events surely seem lovely. Hey, Neon, do you remember some of the winter events that uh, that uh, you girls had? I mean, the, you could uh, tell Keiichi about some of those. I'm sure that it would be fun for Rena to relive some of the stuff. Yukigase テーブルゲームで遊べばいいじゃないかよ。Right. <笑> Yeah, I guess she can hear everything. The paper sliding door opened and Neon returned with a pot and a complete tea set. Yeah, with those words, the smile disappeared from Rena's face. Uh, she did it. That one careless statement. Reminded us of what we had all nearly been able to forget. I wanted to enjoy this peaceful time for a little longer, but we put an end to that with those honestly careless words. And she noticed the smile disappear from her expression. Mion too changed hers. It was as if the cheerful air, that was like a warm spring day until a moment ago, had slipped through the cracks in the paper door, and all together disappeared. There was no point in regretting it now. We did not come here today to chat and enjoy ourselves. Mion suddenly poured tea. During that time, both friend and I sat kneeling without uttering a word. We can even mutter a word of acknowledgement at those natural words of courtesy. Mion gave a bitter smile at that and let her shoulders droop. <sighs> we all remained silent. You may insult, hoping that someone else would speak up first. And that was, however, the one thing we didn't want to do. And so he sat for a long time. At last, Mila smiled scornfully, all no but her mouth to speak. Okay, thank God. Oi, oi! Kei-chan mo rena mo! Rena and I exchanged glances, and we both resigned ourselves. 
And I opened her mouth to speak first, so I stopped her. ケイチ君。いいんだ。俺は来るべくして来たんだ。俺から喋らせてくれ。うん。分かった。ケイちゃんが私に何の話かな。お宅のお嬢さんを私にくださいね。<笑> <うん。分かった。笑> Afterwards, I thought her mean remarks were Mion's own way of showing consideration. Mion had said those mean things in a totally normal voice, and it drained the tension from my shoulders. Mion, first, I have to admit something. Kei-chan? What? Mion pretended that she didn't know what I was talking about, and I clearly got my point across. あの、I could see Mion's expression immediately become harder. I'd入ってはいけない場所だったのは知ってた。でも、ほんのちょっとした探検のつもりで。悪気はなかったんだよ。でも、いけないことだったんだよな。謝る。この通り。To display my deepest sincerity, I pressed my forehead to the table. I meant that as my way of prostrating myself. I figured it wouldn't feel sincere enough if I raised my head right away. So I left it there on the table for a while. Neon didn't see anything. With my face down, I couldn't tell what sort of expression Neon had. Only the voices of the cicadas filled the room. Mixed with them, I could hear the sound of the clock ticking. And that was all. When I started to struggle to breathe from having my head down for so long, Neon told me to stop. <laughs> I looked up to see that Mion's face was calm, but she was smiling faintly. ケイちゃんにとっては面白半分の探検でも、それが笑い事では済まないと思ってる人たちも大勢いるってことを、ちょっとでも理解してくれたなら、それでいいよ。合に入りては合に従えって、昔から言うもんね。あれからもう何日も
but I didn't miss her eyelid twitching just a little bit. And Mian put a finger to her forehead and acted like she was thinking. そして流しの下にある<笑><笑> Mion scratched her head. I heard her ever so faintly click her tongue. It was as though we found out she'd purposely given too little change to a servant. And that's all I could feel from her. Elena hesitated for a moment. I could tell that she didn't want to use the word erased, and that she was struggling to find another word. そして本当はそれで終わりのはずだったんだよね。ミーちゃんにとってはそりゃあどういう意味かな。リカちゃんがミーちゃんの家に行くことをサトコちゃんに言い残していたのは子さんだったんじゃないかな。そして、さとこちゃんはみーちゃんの家に電話をした。うちのリカがお邪魔してませんこと？うん、きっとこんな感じ。似てる似てる。みーちゃんはちょっとまずいと思ったんだよね。リカちゃんがここに来たことを知る
Myung grew tired of her dumb laughter, heaved a big sigh, and scratched her head. It almost seemed like Myung had lost the detective punishment game for the club or something, and her punishment had been decided. Oh, how fun that would have been if it were true. As soon as she heard Oishi-san's name, Mion's eyes began to display panic more clearly, so that anyone would be able to tell. Mion, the police are still looking for you. This house is still looking for Oishi-san's name, and now I'm looking for you. Mion attempted to faint calm, but it looked like she was having a hard time with that. Part of her couldn't believe that the police had her surrounded, and she closely examined Rena's facial expression. However, she couldn't detect a hint of falsehood. Finally, Mian seemed to accept the fact that the police were encircling the house. Mian didn't answer. Our rapid fire questions. I could clearly see impatience in her eyes, which were still fading calm. At last, Mion, who had been sitting there lazily, readjusted her cushion and set herself upright. At that moment, the atmosphere in the room changed completely. Mion's expression also changed. The impatience and wonderment in her expression disappeared. And she became so solemn, you would think she was about to conduct a tea ceremony. And I could sense it. He was now, in this moment. Mion had ceased to be Mion, but had changed into Mion Sonozaki, the current heir to the Sonozaki house. And that solemn atmosphere about her was clearly abnormal. It was entirely different from that of the Mion that I knew. Now, I could believe it. Now I could believe that was she uh, that she was the young leader who commanded the entire Sonozaki clan. Mion quietly placed both her hands on the tatami mat and gave a beautiful elegant bow, as if this really were tea ceremony, and named herself. Hello, Mion? Mion's moments were so elegant they could cut, and we couldn't even answer her. All Ren and I could do was watch, baffled at her actions, which we could never imagine the normal her doing. Honjitsu what? Did Mion just say? Mion said she would answer anything we asked. There was a strong light of resolve in her eyes. Anything? Anything? Rena and I exchanged glances. There was a mountain of things we wanted to ask Mion. However, we hesitated for a moment on what we should ask first. The first question Gena gave was extremely abstract, but it was a question everyone wanted to know right now. And that was what I wanted to ask as well. Why would you do this? That didn't only go for Rika chan Satoko. He went for the mayor, Takano-san, and Tomitake-san as well. No, even further back, for all the incidents that have been occurring every year. For a little while, Mion couldn't respond. Right when we realized that the question was too vague and tried to put it into more concrete terms, she finally opened her mouth to speak. Well... It's not like we have any other place where 
we will go. So we can just stay here for hours and listen. So we can just stay here for hours and listen. So we can just stay here for hours and listen. So we can just stay here for hours and listen. So we can just stay here for hours and listen. So we can just stay here for hours and listen. So we can just stay here for hours オニ They were worshipped by those in the villages at the foot of the mountains, and treated like transcendents, those capable of magic. So, this Oni ga fuchi mura no gosenzo sama tachi wa Oni no chi o hiku hokori takaki senin tachi deshita. Fumoto no mura mura no hito tachi wa Agame, so shite uyama imashita. This ga, so yu kuki mo. 徳川の世が終わるとともに廃れていきました。The black ships arrived. The era of the samurai ended. The era of national isolation ended. And the tradition of worshiping Onigafuchi village quickly disappeared. Those things that lingered from the past were all to be detested. That was the kind of era it became. 明治になり、古い歴史を持つ Onigafuchi 村の名称は一方的に。ひなみざわ村に改められてしまいました。古い飲酒を一掃しようとする。明治政府の思惑が強く働いたのだと聞かされています。The abolition of feudal domains and the establishment of prefectures. An era had begun, seeing Japan sprinting up the stairs that were beyond their means to try and reach the same level the rest of the world. All things in Western style were to be extolled. But all old traditional things were to be scorned. That was the sort of era it was. So, you did I know Geki Hen no Nakade. Takitsubo ni och take Hanabira no Yoni. At to you mani, Onigafchi Murawa Kiete Shimata no des. At last, Japan, provoked by the great European powers colonizing countries in Asia one by one. Began a policy to increase its wealth and military power so that it could stand as a global power in its own right. Conscription began, and they won war after war. The first Sino, the first, the first Sino-Japanese war, and the Russo-Japanese war, and until the Pacific War broke out. They recklessly climbed the staircase towards modernization. この頃にはもう鬼ヶ淵村の不可侵性は失われていましたかつて千人と崇められた村人たちは否認扱いを受け神聖な鬼ヶ淵村はいつの間にか疫病患者の隔離集落の慣れの果てであるという根も葉もないレッテルを貼られ苦難の時代を迎えることになったのでした And、thus began harsh days where one would suffer in reasonable discrimination just because people knew one was from Onigafuchi. The children in the village at the foot of the mountain were taught not to go near Nihimazo because filthy germs were rampant there. Children who had come into contact with children in Nihimazo would cry and wail as their parents purified the spot they were touched by rubbing salt on it. One of the adults said to the children that if you got lost in Nihimazo, You would be kidnapped by demons, cut up into pieces, and devoured. Never, ever go near the terrifying village of the man eating demons. That's what he taught them. Another said that during a famine long ago, the people of Inazawa gathered up all the corpses they discarded into the dry riverbeds, then cooked and ate them in order to survive. Groundless stories, but said in such seriousness. Baseless slander added to the baseless slander, making Onigafuchi villages historically accurate, thrilling history all the more believable. 
Perhaps the chain of undue discrimination was a manifestation of the people's anxiety towards the uncertain times. Of course, the story didn't end only with the perspective of Chu. If anyone found out you were from Onigafuchi, you would be turned down from any job you applied for. People would even go back on engagements and marriage proposals. As for the marriages where one partner had lied about it, as soon as the truth got out, they were made to divorce. I have heard about such discrimination towards those in small villages, in civics classes, in civics class. And just because others knew you were from a tiny hamlet, you would be subjected to every societal disadvantage there was. A modern form of bullying. Though I only memorized that because it was going to be on a test one time. I recall it being suspicious about it, and unable to believe such discrimination occurred in modern Japan. まあ、自業自得と言えないこともないのかもしれません。with that, Mion smiled for the first time, albeit in self-mockery. Taiheyo even that bitterly long war, however, finally ended in 1945. MacArthur's GHQ set to work on drastically improving mindsets and strove for the abolition of unfair discrimination. Like a field day breaking on the dismal light that was the previous era. During that time, someone appeared who built up a fortune through a vast number of dealings in the black market. That was Mion's grandfather, the husband of the elderly current, fam the husband of the elderly current family leader, Sohei Sonosaki. ソヘイは中国大陸に出兵し、ハルピンで食料倉庫の管理をしていたといい、撤退時に上官や仲間たちと共謀して軍の缶詰をごっそりと盗み出していたのでした。ベ。缶グッズ。それを瀬戸内海
この大きな富はその後の雛見沢の復興の大きな力となったのです I see with that you know as all came back to life and that's how the Sonazaki family had established its current prosperity もちろん闇市で財を成したことを妬む人たちも大勢いましたがもう村人は気にしなかった They succeeded at one business venture after another. Those who had succeeded freely supported those who fought. The joint family of Hinazon, tied together with strong bonds, kept on expanding its influence. The Sonazaki family, the center of everything, would be extolled for a long time as the mind behind Hinamizawa's revitalization. その活躍の中心人物が兄ちゃんのおばあちゃんなんだねすごいよね大活躍ミホンドグラシュウズアンスティーハピーランハプレイスターンですが昭和30年頃にまたしても逆風が吹き始めますそれが缶詰疑惑でした The canned flesh instant We heard, we heard. The words can't flesh before. Can't flesh. It sounds so hideous. It's just hearing it made me nauseous. So, who? So, no, Zaki, so, hey, no, Joe, can that to Nanuru, or Tokoma, Koko Hakustano, this. Kare no, Chota, Sista, Kanzumewa. Jitsua, Shokuzai, or Mochita, Mono, they were Nakata, no, that. He now is a village in which demons lived and ate humans. They were just about to wipe away that cursed stigma. The light they had finally started to see in their peaceful lives grew hazy and disappeared. The shocking truth, as revealed by his former superior, the stolen provisions from the old Japanese army that had been a huge cornerstone for Hinamizawa's revival. Okay, so there is a connection there. It had something to do with, like, the war. I, it was mentioned, like,、uh, at some point in the other. Like earlier, but hmm, had been canned human flesh. Why were there cans like that? Wasn't Sohei just a manager of food warehouses? His superior revealed that Sohei Sonazaki did not have the job of managing the food. In reality, Sohei's job during the war had been to exterminate pestilent mice. And to transport the corpses of those with infectious diseases. He had been a fair treatment. And all because of the loneliness of his origins. As a result, though, he had returned safely without having been sent to the front lines or being detained. Perhaps it was the only fortunate thing to happen to him. Finally, Sohei was enlisted as an assistant at a military medical institution. There, however, he found something even worse than the low, scorned, depressing customs of Onigafuchi village. In the research they were carrying out. Research? Could that have been. well, you know. the bacteriological corpse in the old Japanese army or whatever? Kichikun, you've heard of that? What could it be? I was pretty sure it was in Unit 731. It was a nightmare in Unit that devoted itself to researching terrifying bacteriological weapons to break the deadlock in the war. Oh. Is it what I was thinking of in the investigation? They used many innocent people as fodder for robo human experiments. They methodically observed how many days a new strain would take to kill the victims. How many days it would be when injected. How many days it would be when swallowed. They dissected many people to find that out. Sometimes only they wouldn't bother waiting until they were dead. I dissected them while they were still alive. They were strapped into centrifuges while still alive, and crushed them in decompression chambers while still alive. When a live human decomposes, all the holes in their body get pushed outwards. 
and their intestines get pushed out of their anus like a snake win winding out of it. <laughs> what the fuck? I have a feeling. I saw something like that on a documentary one time. Uh, that makes me sick. And they still hate him as well, huh? Mia said it. Mia agreed with me, giving a faint sad smile. He wasn't much in the way of communication. For some reason, I was happy to have it right now. The military's designs at the start of the war completely fell apart, and a chronic food shortage broke out all over the battlefront. The food shortage led to malnutrition, and as their natural resistances lowered, the soldiers fell to one disease after another. Spirit and morale lowered as well. They wouldn't be able to maintain their forces at this rate. Apparently that's where the research started. At first, it was to find methods of delivering food to battlefields. It was very broad, and included things from violent methods like stealing it from citizens to survival methods, like how to cook and familiar insects and, and plant life. As they were working out the details, they kept straying off, of course. They kept straying off course and going out of control. Until finally they knocked down a door called Taboo. Renan and I knew the answer without being told. Humans. So we didn't answer. So, Karewa. そう自分たちはさらにその上を行っていたのですから。祖父はいつも思っていたそうです。たとえ世間の噂がどうあれ、彼らはそれよりもはるかに醜い鬼なんだと。だからいくら下げ済まれたって、ちっとも答えないと。Last
村の子供たちにこう言いました If they throw a stone at one of you, then two of you must throw stones back. The children asked her, What if they threw stones at two of us? Of course, the answer was simple. Finally, the children asked, What if we are attacked by a thousand people? Even that answer was simple. それは決起を促す劇のようですらありました祖母はその先本家当主としてだけでなく雛見沢の母太郎として立ち上がったのです He was halfway through in 1955 It was a time when the riots of the treaty with the US were rapid A time of battle and action The people of Hinamza joined together and fought, treating unfair discrimination towards one as a crime against the MO. It didn't matter whether that one was a child or an adult, it heard that a child had been told off, then everyone would crowd the house of the perpetrator, acting as a whole. If they heard an adult had been treated unfairly, men and women, young and old, would all band together and stand up against it. If m e d d l e d with people from Hinamza, he would be in trouble. As c l e a r s shown early on in this chapter, they probably figured that if they could make others think that, they'd win. Kei chan mo, Machi de Furio ni Karamareta toki, Taksan no hito tachi ni taske r a r e t a no omoi da shimasen ka? Was actually that、uh, literally f- six? <sighs> I mean, plus you. That people, I recall how much of an impression that had left on me. That the people of Hinazo boldly came to my rescue. Yet、yeah, the people of Hino Okinomiya averted their eyes so they wouldn't get involved. So, Bong at Tatakai, Lyoshin got so real Hikitsuni. Yo Yaku Hinamizawa Nimo Hewanga Modotta. Motomo Sono Hewa Mo Totemo Usui Kawa no Ueni no Tamono des. Kono Hakunen no Rexio Mireba Ima no Heon Nado. I really have an opinion on such a long and difficult history when I had moved here more than a year ago. Yet, I said it anyway. Men and demon join hands and live together in harmony. Did n o y a s h i r o Sama remain in this world to watch over that? Otoni Banashi des. Hitoto Niwa Jitsai Stemo. Soreo Chote Suru Oyashiro Sama wa Jitsai Shinakata. To you Koto des. Sore de Oyashiro Sama no Tatari o Koskoto ni Nata no. A cool gust of wind blows in from his outside, flooding Mion's long, beautifully clear air. Mion kept her refreshing smile without answering and even changed her expression. But even that became a solid answer. Hinamizawa Murao, Futatabi Onigafchi Murano Yoni, Angamera Leruni Tarushin Sena Sonzaini. Sorega, Varela Onigafchi Murano Matsue no Hingan de Ari, Sonozaki Honke no Onio Tsugumono no Shukume Nanodes. Onio. Wanga Sonozaki Honkewa Dai Dai Toshu no Nani Oni no Ichi o Kuairu Shukan Garno des Watashi no Namai o Teno Hirani de Mokaite Ita da Kereba Ichimoku Ryozen Kato. I trace out the word Mion upon my hand. Oh, she's right. The character for Demon isn't there. Namai da Kede Wari Masenyo Kono Karada Nimo. When she said that, she quietly rose and began to lay her hand on her clothing. 
ありがとう。With just that exchange, I guessed what she meant. Most likely, somewhere on her body, there was a permanent seal, such as a tattoo or marking, that proved that she inherited the demon. Mion then sat back down. She smoothly opened the paper door onto the porch. A refreshing breeze began to cleanse the damp air filling the room. Mion quietly gazed out at the wide yard for quite a while. On her shoulders, something I could never imagine that normal Mion carrying. It was the heavy, heavy, truly heavy history of Hinazo. No, only when he got Fuji weighing down on them. What kind of words could I possibly say to a Mion like that? Reza wasn't saying anything to her either. Only the voices of the scudders drawn out the sounds. At last, after a long period of nothing, Mion murmured. This five years of the incident, right? I have been directly involved in it, and I have been involved in it directly. Some of them are just the same as the other five of the other five of the other five of the other five of the other five. そのすべての中心に私がいたと思う。She said it all without turning around, with her back to us. At some point, her tone of voice had gone back to being the Mion we knew. 私は自分のしたことには信念を持ってるし、あるとすれば、私の後継ぎも決まらないうちに舞台を退かねばならないことくらいかな。Leave the stage. 私を捕まえて、それで法治国家の体裁が整うなら、それも時代の流れかなって。この百年で一番平和な雛見沢を見ながら引退できるのは、ひょっとすると歴代のその崎家の当主で一番の幸せなのかもしれないし。Me only in the shoulder against the paper door, then slid down it and flopped on the ground. <laughs> the most peaceful it has been, you know, is all you say. It was an act of such resignation that just seeing it made me hard inside. The numerous terrible crimes Mion had been a part of suddenly began to fade from my mind. Hey, Mion. I don't care what happens after this. Can you just try to struggle as much as you can? Try to run away. As soon as I began to think that way, Rena's ringing voice filled the room. でも、みーちゃんはリカちゃんとサトコちゃんを殺したんだよね。The sharp points of her words stabbed into my chest despite not being directed at me. 他の人のことは殺してもいいとも言わないよ。でも、とにかくみーちゃんはリカちゃんとサトコちゃんを殺した。Rena's words were more biting than any I have ever heard. Even now that we knew all the heavy history pressing down on Mio's shoulders, she had criticized her for killing our friends. I'm the one who played the role of Sonozaki. I'm the one who played the role of Rika. The role of Rika was the role of 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 the role. My chest tightened. Last year, I was the one リカちゃんが言ってたのは知ってたんだよ。サイグデンのカンヌキが重くて辛い。もっと簡単な鍵に付け替えたいって。先代のカンヌシさんでも思いと嘆いてた代物だからね。リカちゃんに辛いのは重々承知だった。僕がちゃんと番をしますですから、もっと軽い鍵に変えてほしいなのです。I replied on behalf of the Sonzaki family leader. Ever since the string of freak death incidents, there seem to be people who are insolent towards Oyashiro-sama. So you shouldn't replace the lock with a simple one. That said, the leader of the Kimiyoshi family, old man Kimiyoshi, he... 
If it's that difficult for you, Rikachan, then I think it's okay to replace the lock, he said. The very fact that it was locked with a key was an indication of it being somewhere you mustn't enter. There's nobody bad enough to break through it and go inside, he said. Even if we were alike as leaders, I couldn't find it in me to argue with old man Kimiyoshi, since I owed him so much. In the end, we decided to change out the lock on the storehouse, and switched it to a really cheap and light padlock. おじいちゃん、できることなら鍵は前のままの方が良かったと言ってます。大丈夫だよ。心配性だな。何かあったらおじいちゃんがちゃんと責任を取ってあげるから。本当ですね。君よしけの当主として責任を取られるという意味です
造作もなかったろうにでも殺さなかったんだよね That's right. Milan was so cunning that nobody could stand up to her, even in our club. You should have seriously tried to kill me. I would have been dealt with on the very first night. So many people have been sacrificed, but I was always left out in the cold. When did I first realize it? Even though people were disappearing one after another, for some reason, I had this vague belief that only I would be left alive. Sate. <laughs> どうして殺さなかったのかね鬼の私には見当もつかないわミオンの方に殺したくない都合でもあったんじゃないの Speaking in third person そりゃどういう意味だよ Shhh Now put a finger to her lips to say that Rana didn't need to talk 大石は外で待ってんのうん、逃げ場はないぐるっと囲んでるって言ってた無線でたくさんの車が来てるみたいだったよみーちゃんちの広い敷地を全部囲んでると思うミオンフェルサウトウェナスメッシュレスワーズフェルクルーブレワンメントビーメイビーデワーチャイントレスンハーグッドフレンズペイン If only by a little. Maybe they were considerate, like she was trying to help. <laughs> Mion didn't open her mouth, but she smiled just a little. <laughs> She arose, scratching her head. Her face had returned entirely to that of the usual Mion. Jibun de Jibun no Tsumi. Dono Kura ni Naruka yoku wa katteru. Tatoe Jishuga mitomerare temo. Tabun mo. Koko ni kaite kuru koto mo nai tomo. I couldn't see anything. The number of deaths Mion was involved in was just too large. So much so that maybe recommending that she turn herself in was, in a way, extremely cruel. Which is. Huh? My name suddenly came off. It looked like I was the only one surprised about that. Keichi-kun, <laughs> There was no reason for me to hesitate. Mio had been engulfed by heavy, unopposable tradition. The one who had forced her to kill her friends with her own hands. That was me, and me alone. In fact, with me cornered, it would have been okay for her to blame me. However, Mion didn't say one word of blame. Far from it, I was guilty of the same crime, and she let me go. Amidst the fate she could not oppose, she saved me alone. I didn't know whether I should be thankful for that. Thinking about it now, I didn't know how much easier it would be. If I were to be granted the same punishment as Rika chan and the others, the only thing I knew for sure was that I had an equal duty to bear the sins that Mion shouldered. So when it came to Mion's last request, there was no reason for me to hesitate. Ah, oh, easy. Yeah, 
Might as well. Arigato. Watashikaramo arigato o yu yo. Keiichi-kun. Ruena stood up. It looked like she would keep her promise with Miona leave. Ah, iyo, Rena. Koko de matte te kure leba. Kei-chan to wa niwa o gururi to mawari tai dake da kara. Taikutsu datta ra atashi no heya ike ba i. Manga to ka suki ni yonde te iyo. Ah, na datta ra o kini iri no tanko bon maru koto motte te mo i. Iya da yo. Mii-chan no hon wa Mii-chan no mono da mono. Miantogrena said and rubbed it violently like I always did. Alright. I began to walk after Mion, who headed for the fall way. When Rena suddenly stopped me. Mii-chan, you should be nice. Ah. I didn't know much about laws, but as many deaths as she had been involved in, then chances of her escaping a heavy punishment seemed non-existent. Mian might not surrender herself to justice, but instead chose to put an end to things herself. When I had already fought that far ahead. Ah, so na koto, zetta ni sase nai kara. When I rubbed her tears, which had fallen without me noticing them. Ja, itte agete. I nodded and followed me on, who had disappeared out the front door. I could clearly hear Rena sobbing from the other side of the paper door. Toshite Mii-chan wa. Something odd burned down my cheeks. They were my tears. I fiercely wiped them away. This was the last of time I could offer to Mion. It was just the last of my time I could offer to Mion. So I absolutely didn't want to let her see my tears during it. Mian was already waiting outside the front door. I put on my shoes. Tapped my toes against the floor a few times and then left. And Neon timidly came over. Why is she turning all red at a time like this? Mm -hmm. It was such a modest request. With that permission, her face lit up with glee, like a child being given a toy, and took my arm. なんだか緊張しちゃわない。例えば、急に関節技を決められちゃうんじゃないかな、なんて思ったりとか。姉妹揃って同じことを言うんだな。思わないよ。全然。Back when nothing had gone wrong yet, during those nostalgic days of the bustling commotion at Angel Mort, I counted back and was amazed. It had only been a week ago. I had been an arm in arm with Shion then too. Linking arms with Mion like this really reminded me that they were twins. How much strength they put into it, the sensation of their arms, their warmth, on the blood flowing. I could feel that their living sensations were all exactly the same. Hmm. Shion mo. This were a regular conversation. I might have jumped back right in the face. Right now, though, no matter what I heard, my mind remained at peace. 
ミオンとシオンは仲は良かったんだろうさあどうかなケイちゃんは自分の右手と左手は仲がいいと思うえね、右手と左手それは仲がいいとか悪いとかそういう言い方で例えるものじゃないなそういう関係だから仲がいいとか悪いとかそういう尺度では測れない関係例えば利き腕というものがあるように右手と左手には間違いなく優劣の違いがある。もしも鍋つかみが片方しかなかったら迷うことなく利き腕にするでしょそういう差はあったんじゃないかと思う<笑>だからといって左手がなくなったっていいなんて思う人は誰もいないはずそんなよくわからない関係だね多分それは近くにいすぎるから見えなくなっているだけで。きっととても仲のいいことなんだと思う俺は一人っ子だから祭りの前日ミオンとシオンが二人してじゃれ合っているのをすごく羨ましいと思ったないものねだりじゃないの双子なんて昔は人をからかったりしてそこそこに面白かったけどこうして互いがはっきりと異なる個性を持った今では。帰って邪魔なだけ。Were they cursed? Or were they self-conscious? Their relationship was hard to understand for an outsider. Maybe there wasn't an issue someone like me should intrude on. And just staying silent and nodding gently was the best way to advance the conversation. Neon passed through the white yard. And invited me into the big desert forest we'd seen on the way in. Such a big forest was part of their property, so I couldn't help but feel small. The Kai Moridana Kodomono Kuroa, E. Atobiba that than Janaka. Mion seemed to be suddenly reminiscent. I couldn't look into her mind. But she was probably thinking back to those fun days when they played as sisters without any antagonism. Every time the wind blew, he caressed the treetops and the leaves, making a swishing, murmuring sound. Mion remained silent for a long time, thinking back on her younger sister, whom she had gotten rid of with her own hands. There was no need for me to get a word in. Just walking like this, arm in arm, was enough. Mion suddenly stopped and turned. So you say? Mion took a hard look into my eyes, and then nodded quietly. ずっと考えて閉じ込めておいたけど今日までその方法はとうとう思いつかなかったミアン、sent it as though she hated シアン、but also deep down she didn't completely detest her。So I took my other hand and rustled ミアン、hair with it。ミアン、didn't only save me、she saved シアン、too。Neon may have become a demon and led many people to her deaths, but she fought against it and was able to save two people. As I petted Mion, she narrowed her eyes in an entranced smile. And entangled her arm from mine. Then Mion quietly said, Kite, I no tsumi no subete o. でもそれはケイちゃんにとってこの上なくつらい光景かもしれない。まあ、It may affect ケイチ、なくなり、but I am prepared for whatever it is that this worst thing is.I could sense it, 
there I would probably find all the sacrifices up until now. Looking at them would mean accepting Rikachan and Satoko's death. Satoko's death. As well as accepting that my best friend had done it. I was taken aback by how ominous that sounded. I remembered what Irena had told me. Mion might not surrender herself to justice, but choose to put an end to things herself. I couldn't leave her on her own. Besides, I agreed to her last request, didn't I? Even if it was hard for me to accept, I'll still do it. Even if I avoided looking, it was something that had already happened. The treetops softly swayed in the wind. Normally I'd say something rude right back at her, evading the question. But today I didn't. I just answered with a smile. At last, Mion started walking. Into the thick forest. Into the deepest part. After following a thin path that looked like an animal trail for a while, we finally came across a steep incline with a tunnel that reminded me of a coal mine or a bomb shelter. We were surrounded by shallow hills, and had been created in a spot not visible from the outside. There were many silhouettes of crows and trees here and there. The abnormal odor I had been smelling for a while it was dullly escaping from inside this place. I clenched my fists. A side there was probably a side beyond anything I could imagine. If I let my guard down, I might end up vomiting. Even so, I'll endure it. I'll overcome this pain and this suffering. It will never change. That Mion is my greatest friend. Mion made a gesture like she was wiping tears from her eyes, and then placed her hand on the big door of the tunnel entrance. 